Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your wisdom for the weekday read. This is going to be dated the 3rd. However, we use the date as a filing system. So whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Here's little Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. So we don't do a video without her. All right, guys, let's hit this. <clears throat> Clear and ground. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages to the higher good, and I do mean the higher good of the collective. And we will begin, as usual, at the beginning with Aries. All right, clear and ground for Aries. Hey, Aries, how are you guys today? We hope you're having a great week. And in case nobody told you today, wherever you are in this whole world, we see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful to have you, and Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you, okay? So now let's hit this. One more shuffle for Aries. Aries, okay. Here we go, guys. Show me Aries. <clears throat> Clear and glamour. Okay, Aries, here we go. What's going on with you guys today, Aries? Aries, 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 Aries. All right. So we have a nine of wands in reverse. Oh, that's good. In reverse, it's good. Uh, also, a queen of swords in reverse. All right. So, <clears throat> you know... You could maybe be being very stubborn here with this Nine of Wands in reverse, or somebody is refusing to compromise. Um, yeah, the struggle, you know, maybe being defensive. You also have a Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is not good. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's very cold-hearted. I mean, that's the bitter bitch, right? They're cruel. They're harsh. Um, overly emotional, maybe. Let's see. So they're probably refusing to come you or somebody else, depending if you have, is refusing to compromise in a situation here. We're in the upright, right? Okay. Whoa. I didn't even ask the question yet. Foundation. Something went very quickly, okay? Rapid forward movement in some area of your life. Now, you know, this could be anything. It could be text, phone calls, and correspondence, but not necessarily. It's something that's moving rapidly forward in your life, or did, because it's at the foundation of the situation here. And, uh, you know, that's going to be different for everybody. Tell you all the time. <clears throat> YouTube is worldwide, and it's sick, thick energy. So it's going to be different for everybody. Here we go. Crowning you. Oh, nice. Aries. I'm so psyched for you guys. Nine of Pentacles. This is um, luxury. This is being rewarded for your efforts. It's success. It's uh, a material harvest is what it is for your hard work. <clears throat> I'm getting a very strong feeling that this is somebody in your energy. This is not you, Aries. Somebody who's uh, a bit of bitch, and they're, not ref they're refusing to compromise. So, yeah, later for them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coming into uh, the future, what you don't see. Show me for Aries. What's coming in? What's coming in that they don't see yet, please? Please and thank you. All right, we got gotcha. you. Oh, a queen of wands. So, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, male or female. This is somebody, you know, this is, I call them the stern king and queen of wands, right? They're very approachable. They're charismatic. They're vibrant. They're fun. They're all this and that. But, you know, they get things done. And, and they could be really formidable. I mean, this is somebody, you know, they intimidate people. And, you know, oh, well, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Now, this could actually even be you, Aries, just standing in your power, right? And you all know how intimidating Aries can be when they want to be. So, even though you don't try to be, I know this. But, you know, it's just the way it is. All right, so here we go. So either this is you or somebody with <coughs> Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. Standing in their power, coming in. Now, we have a Knight of Wands. All right, so yeah, this is, again, fire energy. This is somebody who aggressively goes after what they want. It's not a long-term committed energy, but, you know, they are brave, the Knight of Wands. you got to give it to them. And they are very charming and free-spirited. You know, maybe you just like, yeah. Look at this in your environment right now. You have a Ten of Pentacles. Aries, this is an excellent reading. So, you know, you could. this could definitely be you, this Queen of Wands, obviously, male or female, going after your passion <clears throat> or your success. Clearing grounds. <clears throat> Return to send to tenfold expeditiously. Thank you. Now my voice will get twice as strong, so who's ever sending that black magic could go scratch their ass. You got the wrong one. 
All right, here we go. Ten of Wands. I mean, Ten of Pentacles. Um, so, financial success. I'm talking legacy money, okay? Wealth, privilege, all of that. Enough to leave your grandchildren. This is so nice, Aries. You deserve it. You went from the nine to the ten. See that? Okay, hold on. We dropped one. We're going we're gonna to put them back because I don't know. Let me just make sure they're in the upright. Okay. Show me what uh, advice from spirit is, please, here. This is a beautiful reading for you guys, Aries. I'm so happy. Show me. What is... Uh, Yeah, the advice from spirit, please. Come on, give it to me here. Let's go today. We got eleven more signs to do. Come on, you got it. I prefer not to pull. Not that there's anything wrong with it. The spirit will always make you pull the card, but um, at this rate, we could be here for three hours. Okay, thank you. Yeah, too many. That was a joke. Hold on. All right. There you go. You have it. So, oh, the Six of Cups in reverse. So, you know, it's time to forgive. Forgive yourself first for not knowing what you didn't know until you knew it. That's the main thing. Then forgive everybody else. You know, what is it that, uh, oh, God, when Jesus is on the cross, he says, he's calling to God. He says, forgive them for they know not what they do. People just do things, you know, they don't even know why. Uh you know, people are low vibrational. It's, it's a tough world out there. So forgive yourself first. Forgive everybody else. You don't have to actually go to them and verbally say, I forgive you. You know, do it for yourself. Do the forgiveness for yourself so you can move forward. Don't live in the past anymore. Okay? Just put that shit to bed. <laughs> yeah. So the most likely outcome here, you need to have this forgiveness, though. This is what Spirit's advising you with this Six of Cups in reverse. It's, it's time to move forward. Okay? It's time to move forward. Good for you, Aries. <laughs> the energy is changing. Jupiter is directing your sign. Expansion, moving forward. Abundance, abundance. Love, everything's coming. Uh, yep, thank you. Show me what the most likely outcome here is for Aries. This is the best way to start a reading, boy, I'm telling you. Thank you, Aries. Here we go. The most likely outcome is you're going to get a truth, a breakthrough, something. The key to something here, okay, the Ace of Swords is about clarity, power, and victory. And, you know, um, it's a breakthrough. It's going to bring you to some kind of uh, victory or success. Now, at the bottom of the deck, temper your emotions. you got Sagittarian energy. This is like having a Zen, a spirituality, um, peace, an inner calm. People can't ruffle your feathers this way. There's a king of swords. Nice. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be somebody that w is in the military, the law, or was, but doesn't have to be. This is the thinking king, the realm of the mind, of the swords, right? So somebody who's very smart, articulate. Yeah, this is really good. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, here you are, the emperor, standing tall. Look, the king of swords is over there looking at the emperor. Male or female, okay? Now, this person could also have Aries and air in their chart, but um, yeah. Just be careful of any toxic, no good people. If they have Capricorn and specifically Capricorn, Leo, and Gemini in their chart, run for the hills, okay? Run for the hills. If you know somebody's chart and you know they have Capricorn somewhere, Leo and Gemini, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is so good, Aries. Look, you're getting, you just temper your emotions because you got a King of Swords coming in and he's eyeballing you. Look at that. All right. Just leave any toxic behaviors, people, or situations you know, in the dust. You don't need them anymore. You're moving forward. Forgive them. Forgive them. You know, just don't let them back in, whatever you do. Don't answer the door. Somebody comes knocking. Whatever. All right, here we go. Show me whatever the kippers are for this. What's going on here? My kippers are all screwed up, guys. Hold on a minute. It's this right here. All right. Can we turn this over? Thank you. Now, we don't leave kippers in reverse. So, whether they come out in reverse or not, they're going upright. Here we go. Give me the kippers for this. What does Kippers have to say? So somebody's concerned about something here, 33 or 6. So much so they're getting gray hair. <clears throat> Show me. Let's see what we have here. I didn't give you any... Um... Okay. Some of you... Huh, it's going to sound crazy, but you could have a pet squirrel. Some of you... Hold on. Live on a farm. Look at all the sheep. Some of you have some kind of a pet bird. Maybe one that talks, like that little kiwi bird that I love so much. Uh, yeah. Some of you could have horses. Some of you could like swords or sword fighting or fencing. Maybe you watch it on TV or something. I don't know. Um, what else do we have? So somebody's 
got concern here. Like I said, they could have gray hair and a beard, which is nice at my age. But 33 or 6. There's a wealthy man, 13 or 4. Um, you're going to get some kind of, there's a mature man. Look, what did I tell you about the white beard? This mature man, he's up in, every, he's just been around lately. Uh, he can be very smart. Look at all the books he reads, right? Nobody reads that many books and gets stupid. He could also be very, um, worldly, like well-traveled. He's got a specific style too. This person doesn't dress like everybody else. Um, I can tell you that. And you're, and you're going to be getting some kind of a message of concern. What this message is, I don't know. Let me see if we have, uh. Yeah, well, I have a frequency for you, but I want to see if I can get what this message is. It could be anything. You got a message of concern and concern here. Something to do with a wealthy man or a mature man. This wealthy man could be the mature man. For the younger ones, you're getting some kind of cute, hot, wealthy man. And for the older ones, you're getting a cute, hot, mature man. I mean, it works. It's a win-win. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Uh... All right, Kipper, this is the last time around, or we're putting you to bed here. What are we doing? Okay, thank you, Kipper. Yeah, this it's a mess. Some of you are going to get a message. Now, maybe some of you are going to get a message of concern. Um, maybe somebody's concerned about sending you a message. I, You know, this could go so many different ways with the energy. But, um, yeah, let's see. What do we have here? Somebody's thinking about you. Look, you're in somebody's thoughts or, or somebody's in your thoughts. This is the free parking card I tell you all the time, right? Renting space in somebody's head, but nobody's paying rent. Also, somebody could be either you or somebody could be some kind of an artist, a graphic artist, or have some kind of a skill that's artistic. And either you or the person you're thinking about, flip and switch it, is some kind of muse to this to this person. Uh, this is lovers, Gemini energy. So that, yeah, that's always good. There's going to be a decision that has to be made. And right now you have 333 as your uh, frequency for your binaural beat. So 333 megahertz. Let's get you a positive affirmation here. This is a really good reading, Aries. I'm happy for you guys. Okay, today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. Well, that's not an issue for an Aries, right? As a matter of fact, give them a challenge. They'll step up to it on purpose. Crossing you off. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. And let me just see if we have any outstanding. Um, I mean, there's a Virgo here. Uh, somebody that has you got uh, wands. You got swords. I don't really see too many cups. I got to be honest. So not too much water. Uh, if any. Wow. You got a six of cups in reverse. So yeah. Not too much water. But the wand. It's all a thinking and action. Thinking and action. So that's a good one. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody. Cleveland ground for Taurus. Taurus. Hey, Taurus. How are you guys? Wherever you are out in this whole entire world, Taurus, shout out to you. In case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful to have you. Thank you for joining us. So let's see how we're going to help you. One more shuffle for Taurus. Okay. Here we go. All right. Are we in the upright? Yeah. Show me Taurus. All right, Taurus, here we go, here we go. Taurus, what does Taurus have to see today? What could we help Taurus with today? Taurus, all right, here we go. You have, oh, the moon. All right, so there's something going on behind the scenes and we don't know what it is. Now, you may have a feeling, like an impending feeling of something. It doesn't have to be of doom. I'm not a doom and gloom person, so. But, um, you know, there's things going on. Could be anything. So, yeah, stay mindful. Also, some of you really need to use your intuition with this moon card. And uh, don't get taken away by illusions or fantasies or anything like that. Like, stay stay grounded. Don't let your imagination run away from you, okay? But use your intuition. You might know what, or have a good idea of what's going on with the moon, right? Pisces and Cancer energy. Show me what else. All right. Page of Swords. Ooh, all right. Gemini, Libra, Chris. Somebody's watching you. Now, if you use your intuition, you might have a good idea who this is, Taurus. Or you're watching somebody. I mean, flip and switch it. You do have at the foundation of the situation, the Hermit. Virgo energy for, you know, spending time alone, doing self-evaluation, self-reflection. The Hermit is somebody who, um, after they finish their soul-searching and reflection... They, they go by their own inner guidance. They, they go by their own light. Because while it's like the wise old sage, it has nothing to do with the numerical value. It has to do with your life experience and the lessons that you learn from it. So you know, you don't have to go along with the masses. 
V, part of the S is right here. I'm sorry, Virgo. Wow, so Virgo energy. Taurus, I don't know. Okay, so this could have been you. Now, you have a Knight of Pentacles in reverse crowning you. So, here, there could be some kind of, um, maybe somebody's lazy. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Somebody doesn't want to work. Somebody, um... With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, there could have been, you know, some irresponsibility. Maybe somebody's bored or they, ha they have some kind of risky investments. So be careful of that. Show me what's coming in that they don't see. What's coming in that they don't see, please, and thank you for Taurus. All right. Seven of Wands. You're going to have to defend yourself, stand your ground. There could be competition here. Seven of Wands. All right. Perseverance. Being protective. Yeah, protect yourself and your and, and your loved ones and your things and everything in this world today. You got a Six of Wands. What? Oh, because you're probably riding high in the victory horse. Maybe you're seen in the public eye here. Uh, six of Wands, we're talking about some kind of self-confidence, progress, recognition, a victory, a reward, pride. And this is why you have to defend yourself. Maybe you got some jealous people around you. Especially if you got some lazy person here that, you know... I'm hearing free ride. Just looking for some kind of a free ride. Or to use you for something, maybe. Maybe they, they made some bad investments and now, you know, be careful. You never know anybody's intentions, Taurus, I have to say. Look what's in your environment, Taurus, a reciprocated offer of emotion. So if you didn't come across this yet, you're about to. Now, you know, I always read this card as romantic, but it doesn't have to be. Just be that you're making friends with somebody and you feel the same way about each other, you know? But usually it's love, so that's good. So those of you looking for love, it looks like it's right in your environment right now. What's the advice from Spirit, please, for Taurus? Can I have one card, please? All right. Um, one card. Hit me. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. You might, you know... You might, okay, look, you might have to leave somebody out in the cold. Somebody might have left you out in the cold. They did you a favor, especially if they were a lazy person that was looking for a free ride. This is what I'm feeling. However, be careful here. Uh, if you did make some kind of a bad investment for some kind of um, financial poverty, maybe unemployment, like just be careful, okay? Now, I will say this. If this is somebody, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, somebody else coming back around, let's just say you feel like you got to defend yourself because they see you victorious. Uh, they might look at you like your money bags or something like this, and they're coming in to try to, you know, offer you some emotions. Maybe you still have feelings for them. I don't know, but you know, five of pentacles means leave them out in the cold or they're going to leave you out in the cold. It's not going to turn out pretty. Maybe they're just going to leave you in financial poverty if they haven't already. So be very mindful of that Taurus. Yeah. You got a four of cups. So you could be right now, you know, contemplating something, feeling disconnected, feeling bored, um, not really satisfied, you know, you're just um, discontent and indifferent. However, at least just you have your head up and you're looking at the cup that's coming out of the sky. Sometimes, you know, in some depictions, the hands of course, they're not even looking. So at least you're looking. So you're, you know, you're on your way. Now, you do have a queen of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. This is you, look. Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Somebody who's hardworking, grounded, practical, sensible, nurturing, Financially successful, they have the bag secured. Be careful, there's a towel coming. It could be coming on the wings of a knight of wands. You know, very fast moving energy. And here comes a new offer. So, yeah, be careful of that. Be careful of that. All right, let's get you some uh, kippers. Here we go. Kippers, what's going on here for Taurus? Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Can we have kippers, please, for Taurus? Thank you. Taurus. So, expectation. Somebody could be expecting anything. You could be expecting company. You could be expecting mail. You could be expecting a baby. You could be expecting an apology. You could be, you know, I mean, you could be expecting anything. So, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. And if it's not you, it's somebody else that's expecting something. Contact, maybe. I don't know. But you have expectation. 28 or 10, Okay. Show me. Seriously? Sorry, guys. I don't know what is up with my kippers. Hold on a minute. We have to fix this situation. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Show me. Okay. Ooh, goodness gracious. Imprisonment. 
You could be, or somebody around you could be expecting to be sentenced to prison. I'm sentenced, I'm hearing sentenced. 29 or 11. Hmm. Now, also, this could be emotional, spiritual, or mental, but, um, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm definitely hearing sentencing. So, yeah, maybe some of you are expecting to hear some kind of sentence for somebody, some imprisonment. I don't know. Or maybe you're expecting somebody to be sent to prison. I don't, listen, this is crazy. Somebody can already be in some kind of prison. Maybe you're expecting them to come home. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Here we go. Somebody's going on a journey. Uh, it could be a vacation. It could be just like, you know, a day trip. It could be just to go out for a drive in the country or something like this. <clears throat> Planes, trains, automobiles. We have the letter C-M-H. Uh... F.W. Baker is on this train. Seeing overhead lighting. What else is going on here? The mouse from the Green Mile. Feathers, white feathers might have significance. Show me. Some of you might like to wear those chokers around your neck, like a, you know, instead of a long necklace, like a choker. Show me. What else? Eight. Hey, there could be a false person around you. Yeah, hopefully that's the one that's going to prison. Uh, you have 1010 here as your binaural beat, your frequency. 1010 megahertz. Yeah, look, court could have something to do with real estate in the house. It could have something to do with a mature man. Look. Okay? Doesn't have to be. That could be a lawyer. Uh, yeah. So somebody's going to court, it looks like. Maybe over some real estate or property or something like this. I don't know. So you have 10, 10 megahertz as your frequency for your sound bath today. Show me. Kevin <coughs> Graham. Today I am special. Today I will realize that I am a unique kind of person. So, yeah, everybody's unique. And we love you, Taurus. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. And let me just see. Uh, you have Cancer and Pisces. And you have Virgo as the most predominant. But, you know, it could be anything. Um... Let me just get some water here. This is serious. <clears throat> All right. Gemini. Clear on ground for Gemini. Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? So, Gemini, wherever you are out in this world, <laughs> um, we see you. We acknowledge you. We are grateful that you joined us. If you could hear my voice. Just in case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you, all right? So there you go. I don't care where you are. Show me Gemini. Okay. Gemini. Oh, gee, what is Gemini? So, yeah, we're not taking that. Hold on. I don't like that it fell in the drawer. Show me Gemini. Who wants to come back at it? Well, so you got, oh, nine of pentacles. Very nice, Gemini. So, being rewarded for your efforts, success, material wealth, and stability. This is nice. Some of you, you know, could be single, for sure, but you don't have to be. The Nine of Pentacles talks about your manifesta manifestations coming into reality, right? So, this is really good. It's achievement. Material security. So, some of you might wear blue or blue dresses. Might be your favorite color, blue. Um, oh, some of you might have, like, those trestles where the flowers grow. Even if it's winter. Okay, here you got a knight of swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, look. So this is somebody that gallantly, you know, this is the knight in shining armor. Um, the knight of swords is somebody very straightforward, brave, skilled, articulate. They go after what they want, you know? They could be a little opinionated and, you know, the knight of swords, because, but they're smart. This is the problem. They could be a little impatient, but they're very focused. They're kind of like a perfectionist. We like that. Uh, let's see what we have here on this card. They go with the Sword of Truth. So again with the swords. Um, some of you could... It could be some kind of owl or something. Maybe you have owls where you live. And now I'm... Okay. So now I'm hearing the American National Anthem. With purple mountain majesties above the fruited plains. So there could be some kind of... Like plains of land where you are. Uh, all right. So that's like the country vibes, right? Some of you could live like in a rural area. Um, let's see what goes on here. 
I mean, the look on this horse's face is everything. Look at this horse. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So some of you might like horseback riding. I'm hearing equestrian. <clears throat> Let's see. This is like a falcon. Maybe some of you like falcons or you like the team, the falcons or something like this. That looks like a falcon. It's one of those birds that wear the hat on its head with the feathers. So here you go. You got a knight of cups. At the foundation of the situation. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is like a very caring, nurturing, helpful energy. It's innocent. You know, maybe somebody has feelings for somebody here. Um, well, they develop them here at the foundation of the situation. So, yeah. It looks like they're excited about it. I mean, that horse in the Knight of Cups is usually has all four hooves, or at least three on the ground. This horse is like kicking and bucking. I'm hearing <laughs> bucking. Oh, now I'm getting Buckingham Palace. Well, that's just crazy. Okay. Bucking. Maybe some of you, are, maybe some of you guys are named Buck. <laughs> no. You know what I can say with that? I can't curse on uh, YouTube really anymore. Let me see what's going on here. What is that thing? I don't know. Looks like some kind of a hedgehog or a groundhog or something like that. Is it Groundhog Day coming soon? I think so. At least in America here, guys. I don't know about any other countries. Show me what's crown uh, what's crowning. So at the foundation, somebody maybe wanted to offer somebody a cup of emotions, ask them on a date. Flip and switch these energies or whatever. And if they don't resonate, don't force fit. You have a page of wands. Yeah, look at this. Aries Leo is Sagittarius. So somebody send it in the message. Some of you could have orange trees. There's orange trees here. Um, yeah, look at that. So here comes some kind of message or offer. So maybe somebody caught some feelings here and then they sent in the offer. All right, crowning you. Or they're about to. They're about to with this page of wands. The page of wands is usually somebody very energetic. They have fresh ideas. They're extroverted. They're cheerful. It's usually somebody younger. Doesn't have to be. It could be somebody a little, like, immature. Um, a little egotistical, you know. Show me what's coming in that they don't see. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So it looks like somebody's making an offer. I mean, this is a face-off here. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Now, you have the High Priestess. Pisces energy for esoteric, metaphysical, in, using their intuition, having a higher power, just knowing, right? The knowing. It's also very quiet energy. Somebody that doesn't, you know, divulge all their secrets. What's going on over here? Okay. So... Something to do with the crescent moon, maybe when the moon is crescent. And uh, let me see. anyway, they have some kind of knowledge, the high priestess. They could have sentient gifts. Um, they definitely answer to the divine or source. They don't, you know, they're not worried about what anybody else is thinking. They could get downloads and dreams. This could be you with Pisces in your chart, right, Gemini? Just knowing, having an intuition on something. I'm seeing um, Venice. Is that where the canals are? Yeah, Venice. I'm seeing the buildings in Venice right now, Italy. And I was going to say over here, Palazzo tile floor, like a tile floor with the... I'm doing Palazzo? I don't know. Here, you have an eight of swords. So somebody's driving themselves crazy, illuminating thoughts here. Could be about a high priestess. Well, this, I would doubt the high priestess would do that, though, but uh, this is too far short of a happy meal. Ready to do the Thorazine shuffle, right? Worried about something, okay? To the point where they're making themselves sick. So that's not good. So if that's you, knock it off. You know, it's not going to help you. Stay present in the moment, right? No matter what you worry about, you know, you, it's all make-believe until it actually happens. Deal with reality, okay? Deal with the reality of a situation, just in case that's you. But to course watch it, same, you know, I'm telling everybody the same thing. Deal with the reality. Don't don't be up in your head worried about making up scenarios that don't exist. Show me. What's in the actual environment? In the actual environment. Oh, you got a breakthrough. Some kind of breakthrough. This is good. The angels sounding the trumpet. Could be in a relationship or some kind of late. Yeah, because look at these two people. I'm seeing. Okay, I'm seeing butt crack. What is that? What is that? Gemini. Somebody's butt crack is hanging out. Maybe when they bend over, you know how a plumber bends over? Oh my God, what I'm seeing right now. And they go to do like the plumbing work and then like their butt crack hangs out. Oh God. 
So somebody's butt crack is out. Wow. What a thing to see. Here we go. We got the Four of Cups in reverse. So there is happiness here. There is clarity, uh, awareness. Four of Cups in reverse talks about, you know, yeah, that's really good. Somebody's not discontent anymore. <laughs> That's really, really good. What's the most likely outcome for these people and their butt cracks? I can't with you people. You're crazy. It's so funny. All right, here we go. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Here we go. Come on. My nose is itching. Yeah, somebody's definitely. <laughs> I just keep seeing this plumber like under his sink, and what you see is like, yeah, I'm sure we've all dealt with that at one point in our lives, right? Show me. Gemini. All right, you got the oh success. Look, you're gonna be successful. Oh, you know, you got comfort. There's a wish coming true. There's contentment, satisfaction, and success. So yeah, and at the bottom of this, you got the four of swords. Some of you better get your rest because it looks like you're gonna need it. There's an Aries uh, energy, and then here's you, Gemini. Look at this. Okay, some of you could be holding back. It could be a fire sign holding back, or you could be holding back from a fire sign. Here's the Gemini card. Somebody's manifesting something. I hear the alchemizing is going on, especially with the high priestess in the, uh, yeah, there's an emperor here. So Aries energy. Some of you might have that in your chart. You might be dealing with somebody that does. But right now, it's a period of rest and quiet, okay? Some kind of truth. The rest of the sword of truth. Four of Swords talks about rest recuperation, rejuvenation, finding a sanctuary and loving yourself. Show me the kippers on this. Thank you so much for the laugh, guys. Okay, so look, watch. There's a false person around you. Number eight. Could be two false people, right? Working in tandem. So be careful of anybody, you know, that they, listen, if your gut's telling you something's a little shady, don't, yeah, don't go against it. Always go with what your gut's telling you. It's your natural animal instinct, right? Look at Delilah, which is too much. Delilah. All right, here you go. Somebody could be at distant horizons here. Um, they could live a, a ways away from you. They could be emotionally distant. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could have a thing for anchors. Maybe you have those necklaces, like, like the anchors that people wear. Some of you could be going to Mystic Seaport. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? That's in Connecticut. For those who don't live in America, it's about all the uh, ships, the really old ships. Uh, some of you could be going hot air ballooning. Some of you could be going to some kind of a beach resort where the water looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, here we go. There's some kind of a court issue, 23 or 5. I'm going to get you a binaural beat. Hold on a second. Let's go. This could have to do with some kind of documentation. This could be in the United Kingdom where... Um, what did Julian say that was? Barristers. There's barristers. I, I was taught here that they're called barristers. And they still wear wigs. So I'm in America. I don't know about that. So, yeah. So it's a court situation where they still wear the wigs, okay? C and M and uh, what do we have here? N and S. Uh, somebody could be in poverty. Oh, gee, I hope not. I mean, that's not nice for anybody. But listen, it could be emotional, spiritual, and mental poverty as well. And, um... Yeah, some could have a black cat. Some could like to golf. That looks like a golf club for the first time. Oh, my ear is ringing. Oh, wow. Okay. Chimney sweeps? What is that? Where do they sweep chimneys? Would that be London? Some of, some of, somebody could be a chimney sweep here. You have 333 as your uh, binaural beat, your frequency. This is you, Gemini, the lover's card. Uh, 15 or 6. You know, this is about a, a sacred union, okay? This is about, um, yeah, some kind of perfect partnership. But it's also a major choice, like, to be in there. This could be somebody that maybe has a child, or there's a child involved, or somebody's childish, or somebody's innocent, or somebody's naive, 18 or 9. It could be specifically a little girl. Pink could be of significance. And um, this rabbit again, this floppy rabbit. So they might like animals. And uh, somebody's thinking about somebody here. Okay, well, there we go. Now... So you have 333 megahertz as your frequency today, which is a um, prime number. This is an excellent number. It's part of the 369, right? Show me. <clears throat> Show me. Okay, here we go. Today I feel good. 
Oh, now I'm hearing James Van. I feel good. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know that I would. <laughs> no, that's a, okay. Today I know deep down that I look good, feel good, and I am a good person. And yeah, there's James Brown wiggling his butt. So thank you for joining us and hitting like and subscribe. And you guys have um, Virgo and Pisces, and um, yeah. That's the most predominant, but I'm going to tell you, you know, it could be anything. Don't go by the astrology or the sign because anybody could be resonating in any planet at any time. And until they figure out a way to, to know what planet you're resonating in, you never know. So there you go. Clear and ground for cancer. Cancer. Hold on a second, Hinta. Cancer. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Cancer. How are you guys? All right, so wherever you are in this whole entire world, Cancer, you can hear my voice. And I don't care if it's Timbuktu or, you know, wherever. Um, we see you. We acknowledge you, okay? And we're very grateful that you joined us. And, and shout out to you. In case nobody told you today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. Show me Cancer. 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 Here we go. You have the sun. Very nice, Cancer. A Knight of Wands and a Page of Cups. Okay, so Leo energy for the sun. Something could have been illuminated to you. You could have Leo in your chart. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's the one everybody wants. It's positivity, freedom, optimism, happiness, openness, vitality, joy, love, you name it. You got a Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, you know, the Knight of Wands is somebody that's very um, energetic and courageous and charming. They're a hero. You know, it's a hero. They come in, they save the day, and they go out. It's not anybody that, uh, you know, is a long-term committed type person. They're just living in the moment, enjoying their life. Very self-serving, instantaneous, gratifying energy. They're not, you know. Okay. So, uh, Page of Cups at the foundation. Somebody could have sent some kind of somebody a good, you know, nice message. That's good news. It's also a younger energy. The Page of Cups is somebody who is creative and sensitive. Um, it could have something to do also with your inner child, right? Now, let's see what we have here. I'm seeing a crepe myrtle tree. A crepe myrtle, that's the tree with those flowers on it. And, um, yeah, what else is going on here? Somebody could wear brown leggings or have brown leggings. You have a five of pentacles crowning you. So, either some kind of financial hardship, maybe being, you know, the loss of a job or something like that. Excuse me. Here we go. Or... Somebody's about to leave you out in the cold. Could be a Leo specifically. Um, hmm. All right. Let me see. Because I'm getting like this. Is, maybe somebody came in and made you an orphan to specifically leave you out in the cold. Here we go with the narcissist vibes. Wow. Cancer. All right. So you're either going to get some kind of financial hardship. God forbid you lose your job. I hope not with this five of pentacles. Um, it's kind of a loss, isolation, unemployment, poverty, or being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold. Like, I'm getting like somebody could have um, sent you a nice message over here at the foundation of the situation to reel you in and just so they could, like, leave you out in the cold. So, high narcissist right here. And I hate to say that, but with the, you know, the, the Knight of Wands, even though it's not in reverse, they're kind of like uh, egotistical. I mean, it is an egotistical energy. Let me see what you have here. You have the Five of Cups. It came out kind of in reverse, right? So... You, you or somebody here is moving on, okay? Somebody is um, finding peace and they're forgiving themselves here, all right? So maybe this is, somebody doesn't like this. Somebody is not liking this, Cancer. They want to keep you in uh, some kind of a holding pattern. Like, in order for the Five of Cups to be in reverse, it would have to be upright first. So you'd have to be feeling the pain of some kind of loss and not realizing that you had these two two cups behind you. So, at this point in reverse, you're turning around and realizing that you still have two... Now, I mean, turn around, bright eyes. So, you, you, you still have these two cups and you're, you know, you're forgiving yourself and you're moving on. I don't think somebody likes this. I don't know why I'm getting this. Show me. Okay. Yeah, we're not taking all that. That's like a lot. Hold on a second. Cancer. Give me the support for that. One card. Okay, thank you. The hangman. What did I tell you? Somebody wants to keep you in a hangman position. Boy, did I know that. My nose was itching. That's how. 
Um, so this is uh, Pisces energy. This is feeling stuck or trapped or having a lack of direction or being uncertain, confined. Somebody wants to keep you. What did I tell you? Like in a holding pattern. This is what? Because they see you healing, okay? Maybe you forgive yourself, you, you know. Now, if this is you with fire and you try, you're moving on and you're living, you know, you're just enjoying the day. Maybe you don't have any solid plans for the future. You're just taking life as it comes. But, you know, somebody's trying to keep you in some kind of a um, trap, I'm hearing. Trap. Chains. Chains. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it. Somebody doesn't like that you forgave yourself and you're moving on here. And you're looking at the two cups behind you now. You're ready. You're open. I'm hearing I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. To fall in love. To fall. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, this could be somebody that has Leo highly aspected in their chart. They could have Aries or Sagittarius, too. They could have water. A little bit of earth here. And then here we go with the Pisces. Somebody that wants to keep you trapped, yeah? Into this. They want to keep you trapped in, like, sadness. Okay, so here you go. High Priestess, Pisces energy. Somebody who's highly intuitive. They answer the source. They make it downloads and dreams. Uh, you like the high priestess. The high priestess is somebody who's, um, they have a higher power. They're very spiritual. So you're going to have to use your intuition on this. This is what? Now, what's the most, what's the advice, please? What's the advice for cancer? What's the advice for cancer? Please and thank you. Advice for cancer, please. One card. Okay, thank you. Um, the Eight of Cups in Reverse. So listen, the Eight of Cups in Reverse talks about a fear of change. It talks about like being stagnant. And it, you know, the Eight of Cups in Reverse also talks about like aimless drifting. Like, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. Spirit's advising you, be careful. This person wants to keep you, you know, don't fear change. Change is good, right? Even if it's the unknown, go for it. So somebody wants to keep you in this, like, energy. I don't know. This is a I'm not high narcissist vibe. Yeah, I'm burdening you down. Look at this. It's because they were trying, somebody's trying to burden you down. They're trying to keep you in some kind of um, fear of change here or avoidance. All right? Because they see that you're healing. They're trying to lock this in. Cancer. Here you go. What do we have here? You have the seven of cups. Oh, the seven of swords. Look at this. Look at this. They're trying to get away with something. Nefarious, no good. And they could be, they could have Virgo, uh, they could have like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Look, they got the, they want to win at all costs. Look at this. Look. Okay. They're trying, they're, okay. So the King of Swords is somebody who's the thinking king. It's the realm of the mind. So they would be smart enough to, to put a plan together. Now I'm not saying the King of Swords in and of himself is nefarious. Not necessarily. But it's showing you that they're smart enough to put some kind of plan together. They want to defeat you at all costs. This is wanting to win at all costs, right? The five of swords. We're talking about conflict, struggle. They want to cause hostility, stress, arguments, whatever. Why? Because they're trying to get away with something over here. All right? They're trying to steal, lie. This is like not having your higher good at all. It's whatever they could get away from, get away with. And then also, or maybe from, yeah. But also... Um, you know, taking all the swords here. They're very proud of themselves, whatever they think they're doing. Like, they think, they really think they're getting away with something here. And what they're trying to get away with here is keeping you burdened down and stuck. So don't let that happen, Cancer. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Show me. Kipper, show me. Here we go. All right, listen. Yeah, this could be a lover. A lover. Maybe you're going to have to make a decision about some kind of relationship. Maybe you have already, and this is why. And now you're moving on. And nobody's liking it over here. Somebody that, you know, wants to keep you like, that's what the narcissist is. They come in and they breadcrumb you, right? And then they, <sighs> yeah, don't fall for this. Don't do it. Look at this. Seven of swords over here. Yeah, this is somebody that's thinking, all right? Now, they could be thinking about anything, Cancer. Now, you know, if you know that somebody's not in your head, consuming your thoughts, then this is what somebody's doing. Okay, they're thinking, and they could be thinking about how to plot against you in a bad way, all right? 16 or 7 or 15. Show me this one. Yeah, look, it's a false person. I'm telling you. Number eight. Some of you might have to go on some kind of journey or a trip or a day trip, or maybe you need to just get away from for a little while and clear your head and just go sightseeing or something. Okay, so you have F.W. Baker, C and M. 
You have S H O. Yeah. W. Yeah. I'm seeing pigeons. Pigeons at the park. I'm seeing deer here. Somebody's got a nice rack, one of these deer. Some of you could live like where there's deer. Um, yeah. This could involve a child or somebody childish or somebody innocent or somebody immature. You have 1111 has your, um, yeah. 1111 is your um, megahertz, okay? Today I will persevere. Today nothing will worry me. All my problems will pass in time. That's maybe you go on a day trip and you just clear your head, you know. Even if, like, wherever you live, let's say if you live, like, in Brooklyn here, maybe take a trip into Manhattan, go to a museum or something. If you live in the country, go for a ride, go on a train ride, do something. Get out and clear your head. Persevere. You got this down. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. I told you 1111 megahertz is your frequency for your sound bath. You have Pisces, very highly, with the high priestess and the hangman. Uh, you have Leo. Yeah. And that's about it. As the, as the you know, most archetypes. But it could be anything, Cancer, so... All right, clear and ground. Leo. 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 Hey, Leo. Shout out to you, wherever you are in this whole entire world, Leo. In case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Wherever you are in this world, we're very grateful that you joined us. We see you. We acknowledge you, okay? Show me Leo. And I don't give... I don't care where you are. I don't want to curse. Okay, here we go. Now, you have the hermit. So, Virgo energy. Some of you could be spending a lot of time alone right now. You could be doing some um, soul searching, some self-reflection, you know, doing introspection, learning from the lessons in your life, growing wiser, becoming closer to the source, getting spiritually enlightened. Virgo energy. This is good. This is doing all the inner work. This is, you know, yeah. So, doing the work. Good for you. Okay. Could have Virgo in your chart. You have a seven of swords in reverse. <laughs> Interesting. Somebody here wants to make a confession about something. Uh, somebody's conscience is bothering them. They're regretful. Now, this could be you or somebody else. After a time of self-reflection, it's time to, you know, yeah, make the confession. Just, just come out with it. This is why. Yeah. But that would be somebody that did the inner work, that ascended spiritually, that doesn't live in their ego, right? And they are... Ready to make some kind of a confession here. Now, this could be you or somebody else. It's about something that they did that was wrong. Whatever that could be. It could have been stealing, robbing, lying, cheating. Whatever it was, it was no good. Okay? It, was, it didn't have your higher or somebody's higher power. A higher, uh, yeah, who goes to the nose? Higher good. It, did, it was for somebody's, like, it wasn't for anybody's higher good. Whatever was done was for Gazy. Okay? They tried to get away with something. And now they're going to come out and tell you what it is. Now, this could be somebody... That did the inner work. Or well, this could be you. Maybe you did the inner work and you got to confess something to somebody. I don't know. Mix it up. Whatever you got to play it. Here you go. You got a nine of pentacles. So at the foundation of the situation, you, 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 you know, you have some kind of level of success here. Nine of pentacles talks about being rewarded for your efforts. It's luxury, it's achievement, it's material stability. You also have a four of cups crowning you. So there is some kind of disconnection, some kind of boredom. Indifference, contemplation, apathy, just not, you know, you're not fulfilled. Nothing's fulfilling you. My nose is going off the charts right now. Show me. <clears throat> okay. Okay, here we go. Now, this could be somebody from your past. Um, or you could be feeling nostalgic and, uh, yeah, let's see. You have a six of cups. So, there is sentimentality. Um, maybe some of you want to heal something, or somebody does, and that's why they're going to tell you the truth now after doing some inner work. Here comes a good news or a message, page of cups. This could be from somebody from your past. <clears throat> some of you could have one of those red tabby cats. Some of you could have mice. <laughs> oh, God. Some of you have mice in your house. Look. Okay. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to take this one and land it on the cards. You got a seven of wands in reverse. Some of you, you know, they, somebody here is feeling overwhelmed, okay? They're admitting defeat. They're surrendering. This is what, you know, they're done. 
Somebody's really did the inner work here and they're done. They, 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 they're defeated, they're admitting it, and they're finished. They're not standing their ground anymore. They're not going to try to defend themselves. They don't even, yeah, it's over. Yeah. Giving up. Overwhelmed and surrender. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, what? Say something, I'm giving up on you. Is that a song? I say something, I'm giving up on you. What kind of song? I don't know. All right, so show me what the advice is here for Leo. Say something, I'm giving up. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, I'm seeing linoleum. <laughs> what the one? Linoleum. So some kind of floor. Wow, some kind of flooring. It could be like three. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Hmm. Tell me. Primrose. I'm hearing primrose. Now that's a flower. Some of you might have primroses planted, or somebody's name could be primrose. Uh, I don't know. If that's a name, but here we go. Oh boy, I'm starting to get a headache. Here we go, temperance. Okay, so, you know, this is um, this is the advice from spirit. Temperance, which is Sagittarian energy. It's about balancing yourself out. It's about being peaceful. It's about having patience. It's about having an inner calm and tranquility, self-control. It's not letting people antagonize you, you know, rising above it. Um, it is a level of spirituality. It's also about relationships, like a soulmate union. You might have, you know, this might be a soulmate on the table with you, or you might be, you know, you might have a soulmate relationship with the emperor. Okay. So Aries energy. The emperor, you know, it could be a father or a father figure, but it doesn't have to be. The emperor is somebody who's very stable, dependable, structured, logical, practical. I mean, they're all four kings. The best attributes rolled up and then some. You know, after that, they're source. They run the whole world, and they do it impeccably. They have a lot of integrity. They have a lot of class. They have a lot of dignity. They know their worth, and they run the world. Everybody's got free health care. They're all fed. Everybody's clothed. I mean, you know, it's a very nice world with the emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries, or maybe you have Aries in your chart, and you are this emperor. You're going to temper your emotions. Somebody's uh, giving up here. They're going to say, they're going to definitely come out with some kind of a uh, confession here. This could be after a time somebody's, you know, did the, the hermit thing here, which is always good, worked on themselves. Here, yeah, hangman. Some of you could be feeling trapped or confined. Maybe you have a lack of direction. You need to release and let go of something. All right? I'm hearing let go of the truth. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Somebody needs to let go of the truth. All right. Show me what else we have here. Some of you could like uh, astronomy. I'm seeing astronomy. Mm -hmm. All right. Some of you could be really just feeling like, like trapped. Clear <sighs> ground. Give me some kippers. Come on, kipper, today. So there's a main female involved in this, number two. Somebody could be getting roses or giving roses to somebody. The letter C, the letter M, these kippers. Okay, show me. Here we go. You have, somebody's in despair, 32 or 5. Somebody could have a problem tying their shoes. Somebody could have some kind of an alcohol addiction or some kind of addiction. Somebody could be unemployed. Somebody could be homeless. Somebody could have a little brown dog. Somebody could like to wear a brown suit that they never iron. What? Oh, my God. Somebody doesn't like to iron. You got 32 and 5 and you got 2 here. Somebody might have a round marble table in their house. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting drinking. Somebody's over drinking. Somebody's over drinking here. Somebody could be in poverty. That's why they're in despair. Now, this could be mental, spiritual, emotional, or physical. Uh, so you got 37 or 10, 32 and 5, and you have 2. Um, again, yeah. Somebody could have like a, what is that? Let me have a black cat.
Here we go. Show me. Anything else? I need some kind of a frequency, please, Kipper. Let's go. All right. Again with the main female. Oh, wow. I'm getting, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of you or somebody here, you know, they could be in despair because there's two main females and they can't decide. Maybe, oh, look at this. They might be in poverty. In other words, oh man, they're going to put you. Oh, okay, this is what I'm getting. This is going to sound ludicrous. Somebody here might have had the choice between two females. Maybe they had a main female and then they, they added another one. Okay, and then now they're in poverty because they lost them both. Is that. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you want to play. Now they're in despair because they lost them both. See the poverty card. You have two, two, two as your. Uh, Megahertz, two, two, two megahertz. Okay, that's your frequency. Now look, you got despair again. Did somebody's concerns here. Yep, and they're in despair. Somebody might have to go to court for something. Oh my God, what's going on here? Gee whiz. All right, listen, Leo. This isn't you. This is somebody around you. If you know somebody was cheating on you and they had two choices, this is going out to my female Leos that are watching me right now. Or you could be a male Leo watching me that you put two people to, you know, they, you pitted these two women against each other and now you lost them both. Yeah. So now you're in poverty. Oh, look at this. And there's a rat. There's a rat. Hmm. Somebody was a rat. Somebody doesn't have really good choices anymore, do they? Nope. It's like, oh, somebody's scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Forgive me. So two, two, two megahertz frequency for your sound bath i would definitely go take one if i were you and today i believe today i will see the miracles and love surrounding me so yeah let me tell you what signs you have thank you for hitting that like and subscribe i hope this is nobody's story this is horrible you have temperance which is uh, sagittarius you have uh virgo oh, no that's cups oh that's virgo aries and uh yeah virgo again so thank you for hitting the like and subscribe Leo. we love you we'll see you tomorrow don't make that story fit if it doesn't. No force fitting here. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Wherever you are in this whole entire world, shout out to you, okay? Uh, we see you, we acknowledge you. I don't care if you're in Timbuktu or uh, Finland, Switzerland, whatever. Um, thank you for joining us. In case nobody told you today, Delilah Tiberius said, I love you, okay? Here we go. Show me Virgo. You're in Croatia. I don't know what that's about. I don't even know what that is. I got to be honest. But okay. Show me uh, Virgo. Virgo. All right. Wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Sagittarian energy. Good luck. Good karma. Fate. Destiny. Choices that will change the fate of your destiny. Here we go. Now you have... Four of Swords in reverse. So there's some kind of recovery. There's some kind of um, awakening here. All right. Somebody could be exhausted. Um, yeah. That's the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor that you're going to have like some kind of recovery or awakening. This is what. Oh, he was. All right. Here we go. You have... A nine of pentacles in reverse at the foundation of this situation. So with the nine of pentacles in reverse, we're talking about some kind of maybe superficiality, maybe some reckless spending, maybe um, some material instability, Virgo. This isn't you. This could be somebody around you, right? Now, crowning you, you have... Oh, there was a breakthrough. There's going to be a breakthrough. Wait, I'm going to start to vouch. Sorry, excuse me. There it goes. Uh, yeah. Angels sounding that trumpet. So there's going to be some kind of breakthrough, okay? Judgment call. This is, um, yeah, being decisive about something. Now, nine of swords. Ooh, ooh. Okay, coming in what you don't see is up all night, not sleeping, crying, having nightmares, hanging out with the owls. Mm -mm. Anxiety, stress, insomnia, depression. This is not good. Now, if this isn't you, this is somebody else. Uh, okay. Let's see. Now, here you go. Oh, uh, why? Because it's some kind of broken heart. 
Maybe some of you up all night worried about a third party situation. I hope not. There's some kind of emotional pain. Obviously, emotional pain to keep you up like that, right? So whether it's a third party situation or not, the point is there's emotional pain. And that sucks no matter how you get it, right? Maybe some of you are up all night worried that there's a third party situation going on in your life. I hope not. Um, yeah, I hate that freaking card. I mean, we all have to have emotional pain, but nobody has to be a coward and put somebody in a third party situation. That's just, that's just selfishness and manipulation, right? All right, so some of you, this could be happening around the crescent moon. Some of you could be around owls. Mm. Show me. You have a four of wands here. So, you know, in your environment right now, you do have stability, happiness, harmony, and peace. It's Aries energy, the four of wands. It talks about, um, you know, community, reunion, celebration, family. Some of you can have rabbits. Some of you, what is this thing? What is that, a dragonfly? Have you seen dragonflies? Some of you can have small children. Mm -mm. Tell me what spirit's advice is right now. All right, here you go. The Ten of Swords. Ooh, watch out. Okay, you got the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Somebody might want to take this happiness from you, this harmony, this prosperity, this peace, this family life. They don't, they don't like it. They want to put a Ten of Swords in your back here. This is your advice, the Ten of Swords. I mean, what kind of advice is that? The, you know, it's talking about being defeated, failure, collapse, crisis. Somebody's sticking all these swords in your back. So, you know, just be careful. Because, you, you know, you got emotional pain in the Ten of Swords. So, if this isn't you, this is, you know, somebody around you that's up all night. I don't know. What's the most likely outcome of this? I don't like this Ten of Swords and this Three of Swords. I can tell you that right now. Here we go. Page of Pentacles. So, a new beginning. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This could be you. Uh, manifesting. Being goal-oriented, dependable, loyal, committed. Some of you might have, uh, might be seeing a peacock or a peacock feathers. Something about a peacock. Maybe you're going to go to the zoo and there's going to be a peacock there. I don't know. I don't know. And at the bottom of the deck, seven of swords. Yeah, look, somebody's trying to get away with something. Nefarious. Could be something to do with a cancer Pisces. Just go oh, you got the queen and king cups together. Look at that. So this is, uh, you know... This is uh, soulmates, right? Now, while the King of Cups is looking, the Queen of Cups is not. Like, if we were like this, yeah, either way, it's not going to work. Um, this could be, you know, there could be some kind of something nefarious. Going, like, there could be definitely cheating going on here, okay? I hate to say this, but yeah. Let me get you. Okay. Here we go. We got the Sagittarius. We got Virgo. Aries. I don't know. Virgo, every time I do your reading, Delilah starts snoring like she needs a COPD mask. What is up with that? You hear that? Do some of you have like some kind of snoring issues? He's out. All right, show me. What's going on here with the kippers for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, this one wants to come out. Yeah, I'm um, so high honor. So, that, you know, this could be somebody in the military law, but not necessarily. You know, when you say I hold you in high honor, that means you have respect for somebody. So somebody either holds you in high honor or you hold somebody in high honor, 25 to 7. Now, could they have been in the military the law? Yeah, but uh doesn't necessarily have to be. Here we go. You have some kind of privileged lady, 12 or 3. This one wants to come out. This could have been some kind of a um, romantic love situation or some kind of decision had to be made or was made. You got 15 or 6. King Doves. Yeah, some kind of new pathway is opening up. This is, if anybody was in some kind of a, a shadow period or some kind of chrysalis stage, you down, a rebirth is butterflies. So that's a rebirth. There's a path opening up out to the sun. 35 or 8. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. There could be a mature woman involved in this number six. 
Um, wow, can I please have some kind of a, it could be also some kind of community, 39 or 12. Um, so, yeah, do you believe that I still don't have a frequency for you guys? That's crazy. Wow. Okay, yes, I do. Three, three, three. Three, three, three megahertz on your sound bath today. Somebody wants to court somebody. Somebody's going to get a message. I don't know. All right. Show me. A positive affirmation from Virgo, please. Virgo. 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 Here we go, Virgo. Today I will breathe. Today as I face challenges, I will call a mental timeout. I will consciously breathe with my eyes closed and focus on slowing my inhalation and exhalation. So your yeah, exhalation, yeah. all right. So focus on your breathing. Now, I told you 333 three, three megahertz on your sound bath and I gave you the sign. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. We're very grateful and we love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Libra. Clear and ground for Libra. Let me just make sure my cards are right, people. All right. See what I'm talking about? All right. Here we go, Libra. Uh, uh, clear and ground. All right, Libra, wherever you are in this whole entire world, doesn't matter. The entire world. Shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, and if nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. We're very grateful that you joined us, okay? Let's see what we can do for Libra today. Show me Libra. Libra. All right. The chariot. So, cancer energy for having a focus and a goal and overcoming any freaking obstacle to get to it. Good for you. All right. Some of you could like Egyptian things, like particularly the Sphinx. Oh, God, I'm seeing Princess Jasmine from Aladdin here. Maybe Disney. Okay, you got a Queen of Pentacles. Oh, some of you could be focused. Listen, Libra, I'm becoming this Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Uh, somebody who's got the bag secured. Somebody who's hardworking. Somebody who's focused. Somebody who's very down to earth and sensible. Some of you, you know, there's peacocks again. Some of you could have a green bathrobe. Some of you could have a purple bathrobe. Uh, or robe, something like this. Okay. Show me. Here you go. Got the hangman in reverse. So this is uh, some kind of disinterest or avoiding sacrifice. It could be a negative pattern. The hangman is Pisces energy. The hangman is discontentment in reverse. Apathy. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn Sagittarius energy crowning you, okay? So, good luck, good fortune, decisions that will change the fate of your destiny. Here you go. Oh, God. Capricorn energy, the devil. Toxic behaviors, toxic people, codependent relationships, people who like to manipulate, drug addiction, sex addiction, gambling. Um, yeah, just all of it. The devil. Anything that you could perceive to be Hellish or devilish, that's it. And then some. Pedophile, I mean, yeah, venereal disease, you name it. Orgies, like, you you name it. Whatever it is, it's no good, okay? Capricorn energy. Somebody could have Capricorn in their chart. Could also be a very toxic person around you. I hope this is not you. All right, Libra, here we go. Some. Oh, yeah, look, somebody that wants to come in and burden you down. Some kind of either addictions or whatever it is. They want to burden you. Look, that's what the devil would do. I'm hearing smiling faces, sometimes pretend to be your friend. Yeah, they're not going to come in looking like the devil. They're never going to come in looking like the devil. So stay frosty, people. Show me what's in your actual environment. They don't have good intentions. They're looking to burden you down with something. You have a page of wands. So some kind of information. Okay, here comes the message. Page of wands. This could be somebody that's younger or immature. This could be a fire sign. Aries Leo is Sagittarius. Some of you could have orange trees. Like, yeah, I'm seeing orange trees. Some of you could wear a pair of green sneakers. 
Let me see your little brown Ugg boots. Ugg boots. Uh, here you go. You got a four pentacles in reverse. So some of you, listen, some of you might be, you know, this is your advice. Don't be reckless, okay, with your money. Don't be too generous or too giving, okay? It's there are people around you that will take advantage of that, right, of your kindness. And then they will, you know, they will mistake your kindness for stupidity. But be careful. Yeah. Look, the moon. You know, the shadow, look, things going on that you don't know or you don't see. It's Pisces and cancer, cancer energy. The moon talks about a deception. The moon talks about um, illusion, fancy. And some of you really just need to use your intuition here. And you'll know who this is, even if you don't know somebody's chart. Who's ever coming in to make you an offer here? Now, you got a four of swords. Finding some kind of um, sanctuary and getting some sleep and some rest and nurturing yourself. This is what the Four of Swords is about, okay? There is a decision you're going to have to make. Don't do it unless you're rested and, and well recuperated, okay? And it could have to do about some kind of a family or a happy wife, happy life situation. You got the Ten of Cups. My nose is itching. This is about fulfillment, alignment, happiness. You know, you got the lovers in the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. But be careful because, you know, right after that, you got the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, this is somebody that could be coming in to offer you this. They want you to think that they're going to offer you a Ten of Cups, but really what you're going to get is a freaking yeah, Ten of Wands and a Ten of Swords. So, you know, like I said, that's what the devil would do. So please stay mindful, Libra. We love you. All right. And you got Cancer and Pisces. Pisces. The Hangman is, um, like I said, Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius. And you got Cancer here and Capricorn. So be careful. I'm going to mind right now. Show me. Keep it, spit it out. Here we go. You have some kind of mature woman involved in this number six. <sighs> Somebody could be getting some kind of a great fortune or sudden wealth. Now, this could be like the lottery or the scratch off. So any anyhow, it, I don't know how, but you know, sudden wealth here. Eleven or six. There's some kind of new pathway opening up to you. Thirty five or eight. Give me, Kipper. Give me. Here you go. You have, there could be some kind of a home or real estate or something that's tangible. Maybe this is how you're going to receive some kind of sudden wealth, okay? You got 20, 35, and 8, 11 or 2, and 6. I need one more. Oh, okay, look at this. A great fortune. So, but watch out because you got a freaking thief, all right? That's this devil here. Maybe they see you coming into some kind of money or maybe you bought a property or you just got a house or something like this. You know, you're on your way out to the sun here and they're not happy about it. So they're going to come in and try to destroy everything. They're going to burden you down. They want to offer you something here that makes it look like it's a pretty, you know, like, oh, yeah, I love you. and Let's go be happy together. And then maybe some of you, they'll even marry you to see, to see if they can get their hands on whatever this is. So be, be mindful because this is, you know, look, you got a set of swords after that. Look, it's the truth. It's the truth. Sorry, Delilah. What did you do here? That's your confirmation right there, Libra. You know, my crap doesn't fall around here unless it's something. All right. You see me doing this all the time, so this is not something that happens. I mean, yeah. All right. So look. What's your... Okay, you got two, 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 two. Four twos is your uh, megahertz for frequency sound bath. You want to take one. And um, I gave you the signs. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Believe but stay... Just stay very frosty. Yeah. Just question everybody's motives, especially if somebody's coming around trying to offer you some kind of like, you know... Happy life, happy wife situation. Especially if you just came into some money or some real estate or something like that. Yeah. They have ulterior motives and they're not good. Clearing ground. We need Scorpio. I don't know what's going on here with this thing now. All right. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. How are you guys? Well, that was not a good shuffle at all, now, was it? Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, Listen. Wherever you are out in this whole entire world, and we really don't care where it is. I mean, we really don't. Uh, in case somebody told you today, this thing is going to fall again. I just know it. I might have to turn this off. Delilah, hold on a second, guys. I got to just, yeah. Okay. I don't know. All right. So let's get back to this. Wherever you are, Scorpio, out in this whole entire world, the whole entire world, we see you, we acknowledge you. And if nobody told you today,
Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Thank you so much for joining us, okay? So now let's hit this. Show me Scorpio. Right, let's get some good messages today, Scorpio. Here we go. Scorpio. All right. Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Not taking no Scorpio. Uh, um, I'm worried about this thing. I feel like it's going to fall again. Scorpio. Can I have Scorpio, please? Give it to me. This one wants to come out. Oh, the sun. Leo energy for happiness. Something could be illuminated to you. Positivity, freedom, joy, warmth, love. We like this. Some of you could have Leo in your chart. You could deal with somebody that has Leo in the chart. But, you know, something could be being illuminated to you, like I said. Some of you can really be into astrology. Show me. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, so, okay. So some rapid forward movement in some kind of a situation in your life. Now, this could be correspondence, letters, phone calls, texts, or it could just be something moving rapidly forward in your life. Whatever that is for you, it's going to be different for everybody because everybody, you know, some of you could live in a, you know, it's worldwide sick, thick energy. In a rural area, somebody could have like sheep, sheep, seeing sheep. Or you're around some place that has sheep. I don't know. Show me at the foundation of this situation. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, we'll take this one. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Somebody who's, um, you know, they're reliable. They're hardworking. They're committed. They're dedicated. They're focused. They want to secure the bag. They actually want to be the King of Pentacles one day. So they're very goal-oriented. All right. Some of you could have rabbits or be around rabbits. or Let me see. Some of you could have those little fish, those little black and white striped fish. All right, here we go. Now, what are they, angel fish? Now, you got a five of cups. Crowning you, there's loss, sadness, hardship. I mean, the Crimea River card, this is um, regret, remorse. This is the five of cups talks about uh, mourning or bereavement, some kind of disappointment or grief, depression. All right, 